Hi, I'm Brooke Wallace filling in for Max Brantley with your Arkansas Times News headline updates for Wednesday, September the 13th. The University of Arkansas announced today a gift of $40 million from the Wingate Charitable Foundation of Salem Springs to expand the J. William Fulbright College of Arts and Sciences Hill Avenue Sculpture Complex at the Wingate Art and Design District. The gift will allow the university to build new art and design classrooms, studio space, and potential new gallery space near Martin Luther King Boulevard and Hill Avenue. It follows the $120 million gift from the Walton Charitable Foundation to the university to renovate, to renovate its fine arts center and substantially beef up the UA arts education within a new school of art. The university is doubling its art programming budget over the next five years, representing another $16 million investment above its previous arts budget. That all adds up to about $166 million invested in arts education and creation in Fayetteville. Two Little Rock police recruits were fired last week after a controversy over a past Facebook post that used a racial slur. The firings come after an internal affairs investigation that was opened in November. On November the 17th, the Little Rock Black Police Officers Association sent a complaint asking that Brandon Scheifelbein, who is white, be fired after BPOA turned up a 2013 Facebook post which allowed a photograph of a sleeping black man and a comment that included the N-word. The complaint was made public after blogger Russ Rakeup, a candidate for city board, got a copy of the BPOA letter. Scheifelbein's attorney, Robert Newcomb, said that he was quoting a line for the comedian Kevin Hart. Also fired last week was another recruit, Brandon Gurley, who is black. Gurley has, had raised concerns about Scheifelbein's old Facebook post and eventually accepted his apology when Scheifelbein took the post down. When the department received the complaint about Scheifelbein, Newcomb then wrote a letter to the police chief stating that Gurley appears to use the same terminology in Facebook postings of his, referring to a 2010 Facebook post in which Gurley used the same word in comments. A legislative subcommittee yesterday declined to approve a proposed ban on the controversial herbicide dicamba, which many Arkansas farmers say has caused massive damage to their crops due to drift. Previously, a 120-day moratorium was placed on the use of herbicide last summer. A special task force created by governor recommended a new spraying ban, which would have lasted from April 16th through October the 31st, with a plan to revisit the issue for the 2019 growing season after more data and research had been collected and reviewed. The plant board had approved that ban in November. However, it needs le legislative approval, so the plant board will now take it up again with the chance to offer revisions potentially including the cutoff date. Make sure you read David Kuhn's cover story on the controversy from September. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Please read more on the Arkansas blog. Thanks and see you tomorrow.